One of the big ones is the book to movie version of what we're reading. And I would not do what most of us gleaned from our own teachers and now do, because 75% of the way we teach is how we were taught. How were we taught? You read the whole book and then you watch the movie. I know why I did it with high school kids. Two reasons. One, bribery. If we get through the book, I promise, we'll watch the movie. And two, while they were watching the movie for four days, I was grading 150 essays. Was it powerful teaching? I don't think it was. But what else are you supposed to do? I would not show a whole movie all the way through anymore. You know what I would do? I would do clips. We'd be reading that text, and then there would be times I'd say, let's stop right here, and we'd show a clip of the movie. Why? Because it contradicts, because it's different. And I want us to see a connection, similar or different, I want us to see and draw some connections. I think showing kids movie clips is way powerful, very powerful way. You can do connections, yes, but I'm no longer going to show a whole movie version after reading the book or watch a whole movie version before reading the book. I'm going to do clips for purpose, and we call it multimodal text. When my kids come into class, I don't want them saying, yeah, we're watching a movie, as if we're going to check out today, and, and we're not going to be thinking today. When they come in, they're going to see this on the screen, and it says, okay, we were reading Tuck Everlasting. We're going to watch a clip of it. We're not watching the whole movie. We're going to watch a multimodal text, and it's going to encompass the following pages from our text. And here's your viewing purpose. See, we're reading, and then we come back to the text and discussion, and I stop it, and I'm showing excerpts, and it's so powerful. 